Hi, I'm Carla with East Baton Rouge Parish Libraries Career Center. And today I'm gonna to show you how to apply for a job at Chipotle Mexican Grill. I'll take myself off screen and we'll head over to the Chipotle website. So we're at chipotle.com and you'll scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen and click on the link for careers. Here you can search by job category or by location, which is what we'll do today. I've already put in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we'll click search jobs. There are two positions available in Baton Rouge, team member and assistant general manager. We're gonna click on the one for team member. And here we're just gonna click on apply now. And you will put in your email address, which will also serve as your username. Choose a password and then again, type in your email address and put in register. In an account, you will have to accept the privacy agreement. You will click I accept. and you will begin entering all your personal information. So you'll enter your first and last name. Middle name is optional. Remember that only the questions within red asterisk are required. So you will put in your name, address, city, state, and zip code. It also asks for your country and the nearest major city, and I chose Baton Rouge. You'll put in your phone number, your email address again, and then it asks, how many hours a week are you looking to work? Less than 20 hours, more than 20 hours, or you choose not to answer that question by saying non-specified. I'm gonna choose less than 20 hours. And then when are you available to work? And this will depend on your schedule. I'm going to choose everything. And the last thing asked on this page is how you heard about this job. I'm going to say job board. And monster.com. And click save and continue. Are you at least 16 years of age? Yes. Are you at least 18? Yes. Then ask if you have a connection to anyone who currently works at Chipotle. I'm going to say no. It asks if you have ever worked for Chipotle. I'm going to say no. Um, then it asks, will you now or in the future require sponsorship to legally work in the U.S.? Um, this is asking if you are a U.S. citizen. Um, if you are, then you will not need sponsorship. So I'm going to say you know. Save and continue. Now it asks about your work experience. So on the work experience page, you will put in the different positions that you held. It asks for your employer, the job title, your start and end date, if you're currently working there, you would click current job. Then you will provide a summary of the job duties that you did there. And if it's a former job, you will put in the reason that you left. So if you want to, this is a fictional candidate with a, with a fictional job history. Um, so you would obviously use your accurate and correct information for your work history. So um, for my candidate, I put in three jobs. You can see that um, they're all filled in with employer, job title, start and end date, job summary, and reason for leaving for the former jobs. Okay, and once that's complete, you will click save and continue. Okay, now it, we are at the work opportunity tax credit questionnaire. 
It says um, it will take less than two minutes to complete and answers will be confidential. It, this information will be used to determine tax credit eligibility and will not affect whether or not you are hired. You're going to click complete the questionnaire and it's going to take you to the screen to um, answer those questions. Okay, so these are the tax credit questions. It took me to a separate page when I click the link and we're going to get started. So it asks if you've received SNAP, TANF, if you're a veteran, if you have a disability. These are the questions um, that it asks. So I'm going to say if you've received, if you are unemployed and if you've received unemployment, if you are your spouse or enrolled as a member of a Native American tribe. Obviously, you will answer these questions based on your own information and experience, um, yes or no, depending on your answers to these questions. And once you've answered them, you'll click Next. And to affirm that the information that you have answered is true, you're going to put in your first and last name and click Submit Form. And then it brings you back to the Chipotle application. Now, it's asking you to e-sign. You are meant to read this statement carefully before you sign. So um, take your time and read over it just to make sure that you know what you're signing. It's basically asking you to affirm that everything you've put on your application is true. Save and continue. So this gives you the opportunity to review everything that you've entered on the application, make sure everything is correct so that if you need to make any changes before you submit your application, you have a final opportunity to do that. Because once you click submit, it says um, you won't be able to make any changes. Also, it says um, it will send you a confirmation to your email address once you've applied. So you wanna make sure to double check your email and make sure that that, as well as your other contact information, phone number address are correct. So just carefully look through it, scroll through and make sure that everything is correct, accurate, and it says everything you want to say. And if that's uh, everything's good, you click submit. And that's it. Um, thank you your for your interest in Chipotle and for submitting an application. Um, if they would like to reach out to you to schedule an interview, you will hear from them. And um, that's it. Your application is done. So I hope that this video was helpful and helped you in your job search. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our channel to check out more videos about careers and job search. Thank you for watching.